the word, Jesus said, is a seed that a sower sowed. And any germatized seed in the right kind of soil will produce its kind. And now I realize that this is being taped. And these tapes, you have a tape ministry all over the world. And many people, just here tonight, we're about a thousand people are listening. Before this tape stops, there'll be ten times ten thousand here, see, around the world. And I'll go on record. Now, I'll say this about the Word of God being a seed. If you can take the right mental attitude towards any divine promise of God, He'll bring it to pass. If you can get yourself in position to believe that that promise was to you, but if you let some Ricky place it off on with more education, he knows gumption enough, know how to control it, can stick it off on some age gone by or some age it is to come, it'll be of not effect to you. Like Jesus said, you take your traditions and make the commandments of God of no effect. When you try to place God, some historical God or some pre-coming God, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's just as much God now as he ever was. And if you can take that attitude that that promise isn't to you, Jesus said in St. Mark 11, 22, Verily I say to you, if you say to this mountain, be moved. Don't doubt in your heart, but believe that what you've said will come to pass. You can have what you said. I say, when you pray, believe that you receive what you ask for, it'll be given to you. How much more promise could be made than that? You've got to believe it, because it is a seed.